Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I would like to welcome you if you are new and welcome you back if you're returning. In today's video, I am going to be stuffing my cash envelopes for the technically the first paycheck in January. Um, so, but before I did that, I was like, there's a lot, like literally I have a new, a group of new subscribers that have come in recently, which just know that every single time I get a notification that I get a new subscriber, like I literally um, say welcome <laughs> in my, you know, out loud. I'm like, oh, welcome, you know, so and so. And, um, you know, and then I, I thank God for you. Like I truly do thank God for every person that has decided to join me on this particular platform. Like there are so many creators, so much content that is, you know, pushed out. So I am truly, truly, truly grateful for everyone that has come in to join me, especially on this budgeting journey, because y'all, I ain't gonna lie, like, budget, budgeting is hard. Like I know why I have been avoiding it for like, I mean, pretty much my whole life. Yeah, pretty much. I know why I have been avoiding it, but I also have learned why it's very important that right now, especially at this stage of my life that I'm in, that I begin to take it more seriously. So I'm in the not for real, get your life together phase. <laughs> Because y'all, my life be life in. Like, I don't know about your life, but my life be life in like real hard. So I am seriously trying to just do the best that I can to truly get myself back in order. Not myself as a wife, not myself as a mother, not myself as a daughter, like myself, like me. Like, so this year moving into I'll be 40 in a couple months Whew. but moving into that I genuinely want to get my life <laughs> like back to where it's supposed to be so that is the journey that I am on my word for this year is accountability because I will be holding myself personal personally accountable in all things so a little bit of quick background about me. I am, like I said, 39. I'll be 40 in March, which is absolutely insane. I do teach preschool and I live in the Southern Illinois area. So, you know, it's just a, it's just a different type of environment and pre-K. Shout out to all my pre-K teachers. Like if I had pre-K teachers following me, just know that I think you are the GOAT um, because I know how challenging that grade level can be like it's a lot yeah they're cute I, we know we know but they little baby soldiers and i'm not even so they little baby sharks sharks they can smell weakness they can smell fear and if you give them an inch they're gonna take like forty-seven thousand miles like no kidding and today this here friday the 13th Let's just say I'm happy that we don't have school on Monday because this teacher, as one of my favorite pre-K teachers says, this teacher over here needs a pre-K pause. Like, yep, I need a whole pre-K pause because today, yeah. So what any good teacher would do though, I gave them cupcakes right before it was time for them to go home. <laughs> Put them on that bus, tag parents, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> So if any of my parents are watching, sorry, not sorry. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. I'm not, I'm not apologizing for that. I meant that. Yeah, I did. So anyway, I woke up my eyes swollen. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is. I woke up my eyes swollen. My kids were kids. And immediately after this, I was like, oh, I'm going to go and let my hair down tonight. Like, okay. Okay. It is down, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to go and just really, like, relax and just enjoy myself and maybe treat myself to some fun stuff. And I was like, girl, you ain't got no money because I had to go to the bank. So I stopped at the bank. I had the most amazing bank tellers. Like, 
ever. They know all about my, <laughs> this new cash stuffing journey that I'm on, which is so funny because we talk about it. And um, so they like check my progress. Like, how you doing? How's it going? And one of them asked me today, like, is this easy? Absolutely not. Abs absolutely not. If you are beginning budgeting, if you are beginning cash envelopes and stuffing and all of those things, like for me, this has 100% not been easy like not even a little bit easy because it is very very challenging to break poor habits <laughs> and I had a lot of poor habits especially when it comes to spending now what I will say though is that I have literally started to like think about what I'm buying think about what I'm purchasing and being more intentional about it instead of just like Woo! Ball out. Um, like I used to be. I used to be. Psh, I want it. I'm getting it. I don't care. You know, anybody boss me. Bills are paid. I do what I want. Now I'm like, mm, do you really need that four dollar bag of chips from the gas station? No, no. For more than just the fact that you're budgeting, but because your waist says you do not, in fact, need that four dollar bag of chips from the gas station. So it has definitely taught me self-control <laughs> which I don't like it but it works um and it has definitely made me more conscious of what I'm doing where my money's going how I'm using it and then again it's holding me accountable so if I have um you know $39 left for food then I know that I have $39 left for food now I ain't gonna lie to y'all I may sneak over into the miscellaneous folder. I may. But that's what that's there for. Miscellaneous, you know? Because it's like, again, my life be life in. Um, so sometimes, you know, you may have to dibble and dabble in your envelopes. But to me, I feel like as long as I'm not swiping a card to get something, then I'm doing fine. Because the goal is to not just randomly swipe my card because that is where I get into trouble. Online spending, if you've been watching me, especially in my planning videos, you know I am notorious for buying something at line, online because I was watching one of y'all stick some stickers down. Oh, happy National Sticker Day, by the way. But I was watching one of y'all stick some sticker down. I'm like, I need that. This is Midnight Brandy. Midnight Brandy needs everything that she sees on the on the YouTubes. Midnight Brandy needs all of the things. Three, four, five day in the evening Brandy has no idea what's in the package. None. No, no clue. Most of the time. I'm like, huh. <laughs> I recently literally just had a subscription. I don't remember signing up for that. Nope. Don't remember. So Midnight Brandy is is banned. Uh, Midnight Brandy is banned for life. She she got kicked out uh, of the house, and so you only daytime Brandy is left um, because she's the responsible one. Midnight Brandy, she just I don't even turn on YouTube at nighttime anymore because I can't I can't trust myself yet. So that's where we are. That's what we are. That's what we doing. That's who I am. I'm a girl debating every week. On whether or not she want to sell feet pictures to pay this debt off a little bit faster. That's me. Hot mess express. That's me. But I am 100% trusting and believing in God that he is going to get me out of the hole that I have dug myself in. <laughs> because he has already placed all of the tools in me that I need to, in fact, get me out of the hole that I have dug myself in. So I'm not going to sell my feet. I'm not. I'm not going to do that because, yeah, I'm not. But but I would be lying if I say I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> and you lying if you say you ain't thought about it too because just, you know, sometimes you try to take the easy way out. But I'm not going to take the easy way out. I'm going to take the hard way out. I'm going to take the hard way and I'm going to make it happen and I'm going to be proud of myself. And um, I told my mom, I was like, mom, I want you to be proud of me. You know, even as an almost 40 year old person, like I still I want my mom to be proud of me. And so I want to hopefully be an inspiration for 
Um, you know, people like me that struggle, like struggle because I didn't necessarily grow up with, you know, that good financial upbringing where everybody learns how to budget and, and write checks. And I didn't grow up with any of that. Like I didn't. And oh, well, you know, <laughs> uh, I didn't teach my son any of that stuff, you know, for the most part. So, um, you know, it's kind of a learning journey for all of us um, that, you know, did not grow up in the household that practiced good, like financial literacy and, um, you know, those things. And that's OK. Like we everybody has to start somewhere. I chose to start in 2023. And I am looking forward to seeing my progress. Will I have a bunch of money set aside at the end like a lot of people do? Honestly, I hope not. And not because I'm not saving it and not because I'm not using, uh, you know, the tools and things that I've created for myself to use. But I honestly hope that I do not have a lot of money in the envelopes because I have literally use that money to get myself into full financial freedom. Like I want to be by the end of 2024, I have written it down. It's my little faith uh, notes that I read in the morning and read at night. But by the end of 2024, I will be completely debt free. So not necessarily in the 23. God can do it though. He can. So if he wants to, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him do it if that's what he want to do. But I'm giving myself until the end of 2024 to be completely debt free because that's just where I want to be. Like, that's just where I want to be. I don't want to be tied to any of the things that I'm tied to anymore. So I'm hoping that all of the money that I save, all of the challenges that I do, all of the things, they're going to go to paying debt. So at the end of the year, my goal is to be able to tell you that I paid $5,000 in debt, $10,000 in debt, $15,000, whatever that number looks like. That is what I want to be able to tell you. So I'm not going to be one of those people that's like, I got, you know, $8,000 in envelopes. Not yet. Not yet. And if I do have that much in envelopes, just know that those envelopes will then be sent to some debt thing, you know, whether it's my car, whether it's a loan, whether it's a credit, whatever. If I do, for whatever reason, just keep that money, it will be sent to pay debt because that is 100% my goal. My goal right now is not to save, you know, $5,000. Now in the future, starting 2025, then that will be my goal to see how much money I can literally put aside to have saved, to use, to vacation with, to whatever, you know, whatever it is that I decide to use that money for then, that'll be the goal. But this year it is 100%, next year, 100% debt free, debt reduction, whatever. Because am I going to accumulate more debt? Probably in 2024. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I would like to buy a house <laughs> and I would like to buy a car, another car. So those two things are obviously going to be, you know, additional debt that I will be adding on in the future, but that'll be the only debt that I have. And that's, that's truly the goal is to just literally only have those two, what to me are like regular things um, to take care of so that when it's time for those things to happen, I can take care of those things faster and not having to, you know, be spending $40 on this card and $30 on that card and $60. I don't want to do any of that anymore. Like I literally want to be able to take, this is the money for bills. This is the money for my envelopes. This is the money that I'm using for debt. These one or two payments and that's it. So y'all pray for me that you know, I can do this successfully, that I make it through this journey, that I don't give up because that's the reality is <laughs> we all know people quit, people quit. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be the person that quits. Like I don't, I've quit a lot of things and I'm sure I'll quit more things, but this is not something that I want to quit. So anyway, here I am today to tell you 
who I am, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Um, and let's go ahead and count this money. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get into it. For today's budget, I am budgeting out $700. This is like the cash breakdown document that I have created, which is in my Etsy shop, if you're interested in that. And that Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. And um, I also, oh, let's talk about this first. I had this planner. This was the budgeting planner that I was using. And so as you know, if you watched my last video that my challenge for this particular month was to do a no spend. So I set that no spend up to go from Sunday the 1st till well, really technically until Sunday the 8th. And I was successful on that. So yay me. Did a complete no spend, nothing except for necessities. But I decided that I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of this. So I decided to, oh, I got to remember to do that. But I decided to use this notebook that I do have from Erin Condra. For some reason, I don't know why. I'm just not feeling happy planner right now. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is but I'm just not. So I decided to use this notebook that I have from Erin Condren. It's a lot smaller. And I took some stickers here. I got this uh, came from Elisa Ravel from her 12 Days of Surprises sub box. My tabs were a beautiful gift sent to me from my friend May over in Black Mountain Plans. Be sure to check her site out. She has tons of like kits and you know, stickers and things like that that you can use for different things. And then this particular calendar I found on Etsy and it's called H-A-R-O-O -O Plans. I think that's Heru maybe Plans, but this was a printable. I printed it out on sticker paper, stuck it in because I do really, really like to have the monthly view. It just works better for me visually to be able to see it. I did choose the Monday start and I like that this is kind of like the week and then the weekends are over here and I have plenty of notes. So I took this opportunity to write down like holidays or important events that may fluctuate my budget a little bit. And then I have my no spend days kind of documented as well, just so that I can keep track of those. So as you can see, I will be doing another no spend weekend starting on January 20th. Today is, like I said, Friday the 13th. So that'll technically be next weekend and then this january sticker is from i believe planning city which i do pr for i have not gotten the code for that yet but as soon as i do i will be putting that in this description below so i did take all of my monthly expenses wrote them out here wrote down my income sources and i did kind of round these i do get paid you know, a little bit more than these amounts, but I just wanted this to be like the baseline and then any additional money that I'll, I would like to just kind of keep in the computer as a buffer because I am still new to this. And like I said, my life be life in. I wanted to make sure that I always just keep a little bit of money in the account just in case something comes up that I didn't know about. So this is here I have everything laid out. I separated it into the categories that I had when I was using the Happy Planner book and just wrote it out this way. I love how it looks. If you are not a sticker kind of person, bro, get you a notebook like you can see. <laughs> it works just fine. So I just took the document that was in the Happy Planner book and I literally just took it and made it myself like just just made it myself because at the end of the day if for some reason I decide you know like oh I, I don't have a planner in my budget or whatever I can go to Dollar Tree I can buy a notebook I can write down what needs to be written and still be functional so then here are my two paychecks I have them broken down by what gets paid in those particular time frames, which is why for me, the monthly calendar just visually helps me do that. This right here is like Russian um, in my brain. So this helps me kind of keep it 
organized. And I know that for these, this particular month, I should have about eleven one thousand one hundred fifty nine dollars in bills that I am responsible for. My husband does obviously contribute to the house. I shouldn't even say obviously. Nope, shouldn't say that. Some people's husbands don't contribute. Mine do. Mine does. So this is what I pay. <laughs> Everything that I do, all the savings, all the budgeting, all the income, all of that is my income. Has nothing to do with his. He does his own thing the way he does his own thing. I do my thing the way I do mine. That's just how our house works. It is what it is. So anyway, I have everything put in here. The check marks mean I've already paid that because I do, for whatever reason, get paid at like eight or nine o'clock the night before. So I already went ahead and paid those things last night because those are the things that I could control. Now, one of my items in my monthly expenses is Starbucks. Starbucks is important to me. May not be important to you, but it's important to me. That's my business. Okay. So I budget about a hundred dollars a month for Starbucks. Now, whether or not I use that hundred dollars, again, that's that's my business. But that's what I budget. It's same with my hair, same with my nails. Like those are things that even though I'm on this journey, those are things I will not give up. And that is also going to be now my planning city subscription. I did make the decision that I was going to add one subscription back into my life, and that is the one that I chose. Again primarily because I'm a PR for them now and duh but then also because I just love her products like I just love her stickers so I do realize that I reach for them more than most of the other ones so this month oh because I did technically one budgeting video before and started the cash envelopes technically in December I did realize that for gas and groceries I need to have those on a card. So what I did for that was open up an additional checking account at my bank and I just transferred the $120 that I would have put in an envelope for gas and groceries into that additional account. So that money will literally just be for gas and groceries because I do use Upside for gas, which is a website that you can use, I'm sorry, an app that you can use to help you save money on gas. So if you are not using Upside and you're interested, I do also have that link in the description box below. You sign up, you get some points, you sign up, I get some points. So let's get them points. And then those things can be used for cash back or gift cards or, you know, whatever you decide to use your points for. That's how that works. And the same for groceries well really all of my receipts i try to keep but specifically for the groceries ones as well because i also use an app now called fetch which again once you scan your receipts it gives you points for those things and you can use those points for other things so separate account for gas and groceries this one main account pays all of the bills everything comes transferred out of this account this account is for this and then I pull out the cash and that's what I put in my envelopes to for savings or for debt or for, you know, my regular spending or whatever. So because of this $1,900 check total, I calculated that it would be $1,159, which would leave me with $741. So again, I left myself a little bit more buffer and I just pulled out the 700 because I'm, like I said, still getting used to all of this. I was doing my debt tracking yesterday and found out that I literally had another debt, hospital debt that I didn't even, I never even ne necessarily realized that it was too, I use the, our healthcare systems have like apps for that too. And I didn't realize I was, I was so geeked. Like I paid this hospital off and then clicked on the other app and it was like, you still owe $1,431.95. So... Ba -dum -boom. So that is a debt that I don't know if it's gotten lost in them. I don't know what's happening. But anyway, I did add to that. And then I did leave myself a note to thank um, Shantae, my planner bestie, Shantae Renee. Go follow her channel too. It's simply Shantae Renee. She is also listed in the description box below. But she signed up for Fetch recently. So we both got our points. Whoop, whoop. And then I want to give a huge shout out to my mom and my brother for buying a coffee. They bought me a coffee, which is another, it's almost like a tipping service. So if you choose to buy me a coffee, then that money would be, for my case, would be used to pay 
debt or in the future i would like for it to be used to pay for additional equipment that will help me on this channel like i really want a new laptop because that'll help me with this channel as well as with my business and i would really like to get like an actual camera instead of using my phone and you know all of those things so anytime anyone buys me a coffee which obviously i do not expect anyone to do that but it is definitely appreciated i will be using that money to either go towards improving brandy janae or paying off some debt this particular time i got 27 dollars 98 which they took their fees out and so i did use that to make an additional debt payment so then i went ahead and took my cash envelopes my paycheck this is the 700 dollars that i'm using for this time and i went ahead and sorted out like how that is going to be put into those envelopes so i'm going to leave this to the side let's see hmm let's see what we have left over first so i did change my envelopes again because like i said i pulled out gas and i pulled out groceries so those will no longer be envelopes that are in my actual wallet so i do still have household remaining which i will be using for anything that you know i maybe need to pick up for the house that i don't necessarily like online shop for so let's just say we run out of paper plates and i have just run to like dollar general or dollar tree or something real fast i just want to have a couple dollars in here just in case something like that comes up then of course i still have my food i have my beauty which is hair and nails i really don't buy any do any other beauty type things but if i do then or if i know that i'm going to then i will put that in here as well and then i have my miscellaneous envelope and then i just converted this one to coins so i'm going to put my coins in my jar because hey money is money i like oh and i did make this little because my last change jar they ended up cutting open because it was actually a water jug so they cut it open to get the money out faster so I did make this one. So I like money that jingles and money that folds. Preferably the money that folds. But I take the jingling kind too because it all adds up. All right. So I added my change in here. And then this miscellaneous cash. I am going to... Hmm. keep it nope i'm not gonna keep it i'm gonna put it in one of my challenges so i'm gonna stick that back here to the side and then we will just start over all right so i should have 700 dollars, and this is all kinds of jacked up because me and the lady at the bank we were struggling y'all trying to count this money today struggling like even she was struggling i think it's like a freaky friday for everybody all right but so that she keeps her job let's hope that this really is 700 dollars. <laughs> all right oh i did it backwards okay so we have 100 150 200 250 300 350 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 580, 590, 600, 610, 620, 630, 635, 640, 645, 650, 655, 660, 660. 65, 670, 675, 680. Okay, good. That's right. <laughs> All right. So I was on 680, 681, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 700. All right. And then the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is check for b j or a on the one dollars because those automatically go somewhere else and i'll show you that in a minute so ah, there's a b all right and that's it so i'm gonna put this over here as well to put away 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stuff my, uh, I'll do my wallet first since it's out. So for my wallet, I know I need $126 for beauty. And I did that with one, two, three twenties, 150. I did two fives and one, two, three, four, five, six ones. All right, so 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120. Nope, something's not right. Wait, 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. That was right. Okay, so $126 for beauty. And again, this will cover my hair appointment and my nail appointment for this week. Well, within the next two weeks, rather. Because I get paid twice a month. That envelope's thick. All right, and then I break it down this way. Like, obviously, I could have just put $126 in there. But this way, I can literally, after we get off here, I will go through and separate it. So then, like, the nail lady gets this, and then the hair lady gets this. But I'll do that off camera. All right, and so then for household... I am going to give myself an additional $30, so 20 and then 30. All right, and then for food, I'm going to give myself 50. And then miscellaneous, I'm going to give myself 40, so 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Okay. And <laughs> miscellaneous, I did a lot of ones intentionally because I was kind of hoping that there would be more BJs and A's so that I could pull that out for savings. But since there's not, I'm going to go ahead and take this $40. <laughs> Actually, no. Nope. Let me redo that. I need to take one out because that's going to throw me off because I did have to take one out. So I'm going to take one out and just do 39 instead of 40. 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Yes, I did take that one out of miscellaneous because I'm going to need that dollar somewhere else soon. All right, and then the other thing I need to do for my wallet is take out my receipts so that I can scan those again into the Fetch app. If you do not have Fetch, holla at your girl. Look in that description box so that you can get it. And my wallet is ready. Now I can go let my hair down. You, you, you. All right. <laughs> All right. So then I have that envelope done. And then I have, let's go into my binders. We'll start with this one. Y'all, I don't know all this stuff. Like, I don't know short-term, long-term, sinking funds, blah, 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 blah. We just don't feel the binders. These are the binders that I will be dipping and diving into because they I'm saving for things that I will need. So my birthday savings is something that I will be using for my birthday, my mom's birthday, my brother's birthday, my husband's birthday, my kid's birthday. Like, so this funds will be changing all the time. So I am going to add 60 dollars just want to make sure i did this right sixty dollars to the birthday fund and i did a 50 and a 10 and so now birthday has 50 1 50 70 90 210 230 250 270 280 85 90 95 3 Oh, one. So $301 now in birthday. Yay! And then 
travel i'm going to also add 60 because i do have a couple small trips that i need to save for all right so 50 51 20 40 60 70 75 80 85 90 95 2 5 10 15 and 16 now in travel Y'all don't even know like how exciting. Yes, this is hard, but it's so rewarding to know that I have like $500 ready when I need it. Like that is so amazing because I've never, I haven't been able to say that before, like for real. So I'm, man. All right. So Christmas, I'm going to just put $5 because it's January. <laughs> so I have plenty of time to save for that. And I do not do big Christmases. So I don't have to put a bulk of money in here, so we're good. For planner stuff, I'm only going to add $5 this time. So planners now I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 for planners items, which is great. For crops, this for me is like... I do um, crops with friends where we go to this like lake house and we hang out there and work on projects and things like that. But I also have this kind of in mind of like planner meetups or anything like that. But for this one, I'm just going to add $5 this time because it's almost my birthday and I know I'm going to spend a lot of money for that. So these other things I'll be beefing up a little bit later as time progresses. Then for clothes, same. I'm going to just do $5 because I have so many clothes. Like, I legit do not need anything right now. So, we'll just add $5 to clothes. Car maintenance, I'm going to add... I don't know what I did to these envelopes, y'all. Car maintenance, I'm going to add 40 So, now I have 20 40 65 for car maintenance which is great because I will need an oil change soon. And then I think I'm also going to start saving for my registration in here as well. And then giving, I'm going to do $5. So 20, 25, 30 is now in giving. All right. So this binder is done. Now the binder that I'm really hoping I don't have to touch <laughs> anytime soon is going to be this one. And I am, oh, and this is also where I'm holding my savings challenge. So I did create this cute little sinking fun challenge. It is an A4, so standard size piece of paper. I did take this and shrink it down just so that I could fit it in this particular binder, but it does come in the A4, you know, eight and a half by 11 size. So because I'm here, I did want to add $20 to this. So I am going to use this gray mod liner. Hmm. I'll do, let me see. What did I put on here for this? Okay. I'm going to color in one $10, 15, 16, 20 just because I want to see some stuff colored in for instant gratification <laughs> so I'm going to put this back here I didn't make like a separate envelope for it so I'm just going to put this back here in my challenges envelope and that'll just eventually house all of the challenges because I don't need a separate one like I said all my money going in the same place and then because I was too lazy to make an envelope that said Brandy Today larger, I had this in a different binder and then I changed it up. But because I was too lazy to condense those binders, here we are. So Brandy Janae has all of my BJs and A's. So I'm going to add this B here. And so now in this folder, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and $20 and this money will not go to debt this money will be used for 
things for either my YouTube channel or my Etsy shop. Like this is what that money is going to be used for. And this money will be saved until the end of the year for that purpose. For my car, I'm going to just add $20 this time. Because again, I got to get this birthday done. So now my car has $120. And I will fill all these sheets off out later because I've been on this video for a long time. And then for debt, I'm going to put in another hundred dollars so now debt has two hundred dollars at the end of this month i'm going to be emptying this debt folder out every single month so at the after the second pay i will be taking the money that's in the debt envelope depositing it into my account and then paying towards some sort of debt so this money here will not be accumulating so i really should have it in the other binder but whatever and then for medical, again, too lazy to redo this. So I just stuck this one in here because I moved it. I'm going to add $10 to medical. So now I have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46. This is another one I'm still debating on whether or not I want to keep it in here or put it back because like... I just had to spend like $15 for a prescription and I took that out of my, I did take it out of the medical fund, but I had to like come home and do it because I didn't obviously have that here. So I don't know. I'm either going to take this out or just start putting a little bit of money in. I don't know. Leave me, let me know what you guys are doing for medical. Like if you have a prescription or if you have a copay, are you just like taking your medical envelope with you when you know you have to go do those things? Or are you factoring that into like miscellaneous or like, what, what are you doing? I need help. Because I don't really want to carry this envelope around. But like I said, my meds were $14 and I didn't feel like that should have to come out of my food budget or my, you know, household budget or whatever because it's medical. So I came home, switched it out <laughs> and went there. So let me know what you guys are doing with that because maybe I could just do like a cash envelope in my wallet for like prescriptions and stuff but then keep this one for like any medical bills that may for whatever reason incur in the future or is that an emergency i don't y'all need help professional budgeters hook a sister up let me know what you're doing and then for bills i'm going to add another 50 so now bills has 51 50. So in the bills envelope, this is another one that I would like to keep in here, hopefully for the year, because I would like to have like a month ahead's worth of money for bills in here because again, my life be life in like, I don't know. So I would just like to have that prepared. This cute little scratch off here came from planning with boys. I wanted in one of her, uh, I think this was from her plan miss i think that she was doing giveaways anyway i want it from her and it's super cute and i have it here but i'm gonna save it for like the summertime because i don't really need that popsicles right now because it's like so cold it's actually cold like a popsicle but yeah so cold so that is it for this particular binder and then my last one has the other savings challenges so these i'm going to put in here because that was my leftover money i had the 16 dollars left over from my envelopes and i did a lot of debating on whether or not i was going to just keep that in my miscellaneous but i just feel compelled to stick it in here so i had one dollar i'm gonna stick in here i do not have any I didn't get any twos today, so we're going to skip that. But I do have $64 saved already in... No, I'm sorry. It'll be $64. This is how many twos I have. <laughs> and then I'm going to add um, $5 because I have that to this one. And so when this is all full, it will be $160. And these are also challenges that I created which are printables that can be found on my Etsy shop. So there's that one. 
And then I'm going to add this tin. Y'all, I don't know why I keep messing these envelopes up. I have a tin that I'll add to this one. And then when this one's all said and done, it'll be $320. I did not have any leftover 20s, so we're going to skip that envelope. And then for January, I started it early because I got that bonus pay. So if you missed that video, go check it out. I did start it early though. But because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left, I was like, ooh, I need to finish this off. So I'm going to add $40 to January, which means I get to very poorly color in. I know some people be doing all that cute coloring. I'm not here for it. So I'm like, I'm not saving these. All right, so I'm coloring in four little icons so that now I know I only have three left and then I will finish January this month. So January now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. And exciting. And then last but not least, I forgot to grab my cash envelopes. Be right back. All right, and then my 50 envelope challenge. This time I drew 27 and two. So here is the two here for this one. in the back color in the two and then 25 six and seven for this one stick it in the 27 and next time I have 13 and who 36 all right 13 and 30 six okay and really like for this there is for me no pressure so if for some reason i pull a number and i'm like mm -mm, i know i'm not gonna be able to do that because if you saw my second check i have more things that go out on that check than i do on this first one so you know i feel like i can do what is this 49 dollars. i can do 49 dollars. but let's say this was like a 50 and a 40 i don't have 90 dollars because that's going to cut too far into all of the other things so you know i'll just pick different envelopes like ain't nobody the boss of me the goal is to just get all the envelopes done <laughs> to me what order i get them done in that's my business so anyway that is it you guys like I'm excited. I'm excited to have been able to stuff that with you guys today. I'm excited that you got to see my face. Some of you may have never seen my face, especially if this is the first time you're watching me. I'm sorry that this video was so long, but apparently that's just the budget and way. So I do, again, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Let me know if you do the medical thing, like what, what, what are we doing? How are we fixing this? Because I don't know. Help a sister out. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. As I always say, I am always, 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 always here. If you need me, if you need to talk, if you need to cry, if you need to yell, if you need to scream, like I will legit call you and listen. Um, you are not by yourself. You're not by yourself in budgeting. You're not by yourself in planning. You're not by yourself in this world, period. Like if you need a safe space, I got you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be safe. Be well, and I'll catch you on the next video. Be sure to go ahead, like, subscribe, and go watch the next video that YouTube recommend, recommends. Blah, blah, blah. Bye, friends.